In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about this EcoFlow River 3 Plus and why I think every household should have one. Have you heard of these electric power generators right here? So they are powered by batteries and they get input from all kinds of sources, the sun, the grid, your car. And what they do is they store that energy and put that into AC power or DC power, USB-C, power all your devices, replace those gas generators. So they come in different sizes and I have all the big ones, but let me tell you, in the past two years, I've used this one, the EcoFlow River 2 the most because it's so handy. It's got a little handle, look at this thing. Uh, but today I'm gonna talk to you about the River 3 Plus and it's the same form factor about the same size, length, width, and height. And what they did is instead of this wasted space right here, they used it uh, and they put in a whole lot more features uh, for the same price, $2.99, but you'll frequently find it on sale. So there it is. So the River 3 Plus is what we're gonna talk about. And they've made some improvements. 286 watt hours is the storage and 600 watts of energy is what it can supply to your appliances so very handsome design now like i said much more space efficient front and back right there you input right here look at that I got a little door and you got a couple ac outlets here so you have the choice of putting those big ac plugs in the front just one or or two in the back right here so a few things that really make it special uh, the form factor for sure how quiet it is it is so deadly quiet you can't even i can't even measure it because it's 30 decibels it also has a ups mode where it switches over from uh, grid power to battery power in 10 milliseconds it is so fast that it kind of blows away existing ups devices uh, solutions that are out there because it's so much more versatile the other thing that it does is it charges very fast very very fast so 286 watt hours right is what i said and what they do is when you charge it on ac it can max out to 380 watts and then on solar it can do 220 watts so if you just plug it into the wall if it's dead it'll charge from zero to 100 in less than one hour and solar if you have a couple solar panels it will charge in about an hour and a half so pretty cool and you know think about it as a as a kind of those you know those uh battery portable battery stations you have to charge your iphone this does that and so much more it could uh, power your devices if you're an rcer even better uh and i'll tell you in a second but first what i'm going to do is i'm going to test this capacity see uh show you guys that it's working and i'm going to give you some weaknesses as well it's got a nice screen now you turn on your ac power and then we'll put some devices a drill is very stressful on these machines and no, no problem whatsoever. So you're out on the field, you need to, to cut some stuff, drill some holes, you need to solder your RC car, no problem. Okay, you got a drone, you're flying. Instead of getting a lot of batteries for your RC devices and drones, just do this and then boom. And one thing it does really well is it tells you how much each device is drawing. So really cool around the house to explore 12 watts is what it's drawing, to explore what's going on, who, you know, who's boot boosting up your energy bill. I really did some investigation around my house and I had some findings. Found out my subwoofer and amplifier, they're drawing energy even when I'm not using it. Even my TV, because it's so old, when it's in sleep mode, it was drawing energy. All right, so something cool uh, for you RCers, is instead of having these very expensive RC batteries, like a lot of them, just have a couple and take this to the field. Take your little charger and then boom. Look at this thing, so 8.2 volts. Okay, now we'll get to some capacity testing. Let's see what it does and let's see what uh, the weaknesses are. I found a weakness of this guy and for the capacity testing, I have two tools. One is this guy, this is called a, a watt meter. So not only will it measure how much is coming out, but it also accumulates, you know, how much uh, uh, storage came out of the, the unit. So I'm able to kind of judge 
how they do according to claims. So 286 watt hours is the claim. And on AC, it produced 81% of the 286 watt hours. So just, just average, you know, 80 to 90% is usually what you see. Uh, and that's because of inverter losses and power losses when you convert from AC to DC. Uh, and then on the DC side, we have this device. So I put this on the 12 volt right here and I, I drained it from full to zero and I got 87% of what they claim. So pretty darn good. I have a sound meter, I measured the noise and it measured nothing. It basically, uh, it, you need like a, a dead quiet room to be able to measure it. My room was like 35 decibels of ambient noise and this thing only does 30. So you can't really hear it. So pretty amazing. Okay, so on the weaknesses side, uh, they do have something called X-Boost technology, which is 600 watts can be doubled, uh, provided that they drop the voltage. And uh, I didn't find it to be helpful at all. So this old unit is 300 watts, 300 watts, 600 watts. This is a very demanding machine, a sander. And uh, I'll show you guys. So even though this thing is about 600 watts, uh, maybe 610, uh, this thing is only 300. It's able to run it, able to run it. Just not that strong because of, uh, uh, of this X boost technology, okay? Now this guy, 600 watts, and it's gonna run a 610 watt unit. So you should be able to run up to 1200 watts, but not, re not really working. And if I insist, it just faults and says, you overloaded me. So good that it didn't break itself, it just uh, tripped the switch. But something is strange about its X-Boost technology, and it's not e really able to run, you know, more than 600 watts. So, a uh, little fault there. And before I close, what I'm just going to tell you is it has an app that is the best in class. You know, EcoFlow is an amazing company. And let me fire up the app for you guys. Something else that I wanted to add is that this thing is expandable. So... You know, you, you get it on the cheap, uh, you know, something light and portable, but then you find out you need more storage. You know, you have like a two or three day camping trip and this kind of runs out after one day with everything you do. So they do have a couple battery units that just sit in the bottom. They connect automatically with this kind of integrated plug, which is really cool. Now, no wires hanging out. And, you know, now you can have uh, 286 plus 300 or 286 plus 600. Uh, and those other battery units, they're self-standing too. They can have USB-C outputs, you know, kind of like a power bank. So a power bank for this unit right here. So pretty cool. You know, you don't want to buy the expansion unit, right, you know, right away uh, because you, you're probably better off buying a bigger unit. EcoFlow has like 30 other units that you could get. But give you peace of mind that, hey, if this is not the right one for you, if you need a little more, that you can always expand it. I think modularity is a, a very good part of the solution when you're when you're buying something and you ha haven't quite dialed in exactly how much uh, you want to spend or how much storage you want. All right, so here's the app, and it says 97%, and you can control everything from this app. You can turn on the inverter, turn that on, uh, turn on the DC, turn on the light. By the way, it has a light. It never used to have a light, but bright strobe. I'm in trouble, so you can do it all. Uh, it, it's a really good monitor for your, for your devices and it can handle a lot of your EcoFlow devices. And it works over Bluetooth, but it can also work over Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is a lot longer distance. Your whole house basically is the range. So the power of this app is crazy because not only can you monitor it, but you could also change a bunch of settings. You can um, uh, set charge and discharge limits. So this thing has LFP batteries, so the best kind, 4,000 charges for this until it really degrades to 80%. So they say 10, use this thing for 10 years, and then for uh, after 10 years, you'll have 80% of capacity. Kind of like your iPhone, uh, but so long. If you wanted to prolong its life even more, you can say, hey, I just don't want to discharge it to zero, just maybe to 10% and uh, charge it to 90%. So that will, maybe the thing will last for 20 years, okay? It has a backup reserve. So you don't run out when, uh, unless you, you do some um, uh, 
uh, intervention to, to get a reserve, you have scheduled tasks. Let's say, hey, I want this to power my, my Christmas lights, but only within this range and whatnot. So pretty darn cool. Uh, charging and discharging can be on a schedule. Input and output settings, you have your X-Boost mode, your how fast do you want this to charge? You know, do you want it to charge full blast or, or just, just baby the charging? So pretty darn cool. Uh, and you know, just amazing firmware update. So show you kind of more settings, Wi-Fi, time zone, auto timeout, auto shut off. So just a lot going on. Power outage reminder. Okay. So pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, EcoFlow 10-pound machine. Kind of the best in its class, I would say. Uh, it Blue Bluetti is another one, another good brand. But I almost feel like, man, every household should have one of these. Keep it in your house. Back up your router. Back up your router. Back up your Wi-Fi. Uh, or keep it in the car. So you know you're working remotely. You find a nice beach where you need to get on a uh, a call. You have your satellite Wi-Fi happening. What do you call that? Uh, Starlink. Uh, this can power everything, and uh, it just enables a lot of what you do uh, in your life in many different situations. Thanks a ton.